the game was not without positives. Um, we moved the ball better. Uh, you know, we did some some things uh, offensively much better than we did in the first game. Uh, but the defense and the rebounding has got to get better. And you know, it's uh, it's got to be a big point of emphasis heading into the next game. Rick, uh, you guys obviously put a lot of emphasis on getting tougher this off season. When you when you look at thirty five nothing and second chance points, is that a reflection on on toughness? Uh, is is it personnel? You know, what can you guys do uh, to address that? Other than you know, obviously, open KP gets back as soon as possible. Look, we'll look at you know we'll look at different things. I mean. Um, you can always change the lineup and put more size in there, uh, things like that. Um, and like, I got to look at the film and, and see for sure. It's just that uh, I see a lot of possessions where we show a, a level of tenacity that's necessary, uh, but too, but too many where we don't. And, and I, and I, you know, it's just, a, it's a concern, um, but I, you know, I'm going to look at the film, uh, objectively and, and uh, you know, and make sure that uh, whatever it is we need to address that, that, that we that we get to that. Yeah, Rick, uh, I was wondering what your surprise level is uh, about the start, uh, given how good you guys seem to look in the preseason, or maybe some of us were just reading too much into that. You're talking about a two week period of just trying to get the team ready. Did you see any of these, any trouble signs uh, during the preseason or has some of this caught you by surprise? Well, we were last in points in the paint allowed, second to last in transition points allowed in preseason. I mean, I, I mean, I know you guys have access to the stats. Um, and look, they're preseason games. And so a lot of, a lot of that gets shrugged off. Um, because we win two out of three, you know, and the third game goes to overtime or whatever. Um, but look, you know, the difference between winning and losing in Western Conference games this year, uh, the margins are extremely thin. And so, um, you know, things like possessions, you know, things like, you know, num numbers of numbers of rebounds. I mean, you know, it's, it's 53 to 27 in, in situations where the ball is in the air and both teams have a chance to get it, you know? And so um, we're going to have to, we're going to have to do better there. That's all there is to it. Rick, uh, speaking of Christophs, I think I saw a report, maybe it was Coop, uh, that uh, he might ramp up things on this trip a little bit. H has that happened? And is it to the point yet to where you're counting the days until he uh, returns? Yeah, uh, he, he's he's making progress all the time. Um, at this point, I, I'm I'm confident in saying it's weeks, not months. But that's all I'm going to tell you. I, I you know the, he's had two two days where he's played. He had one day where he played half court two on two, and yesterday he played about 30 minutes of four on four, which was great. Uh, did well, um, but he has a, he has a ways to go, and you know we, then we got to. You know, try to get him enough uh, practice reps. You know, during during a year where practice time is is going to be uh, probably, you know, uh, I, I should say quality practice time is probably going to be more difficult to come by because of how the schedule is done these days. But he's doing better. But look, you, you know, he's not going to. Um, he's going to help us a lot. There's no question about it. Um, but we got to get tougher. With uh, with Richardson, what level of involvement do you see with him in the offense? Uh, Twelve shots tonight, two assists. Is that about where you see him at? Do you think there's more he can do as a creative uh, passing player? I I just really like him as an all around player. Um, yeah, you know, he does some very unique things. He he nice into the paint, and he's a he's a terrific finisher. You know, in that middle paint area. Um, 
He's a ball mover. He's an energy giver, really on offense and defense. Um, so in terms of a, of a number of shots or that kind of stuff, I'm not there yet, you know, with exactly what, what that exactly should look like. Cause I don't know that there's an exact number. Um, I think he, I, I do believe that, that he can take pressure off of Luca in a lot of situations um, and allow Luca to play off the ball, which, which Luca is very good at. So that's a, that's a very positive thing too, but we just, you know, we just, uh, I mean, I, I respect the question and all that kind of stuff, but, but our, our issues aren't about touches and, you know, shots it, 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 it's, it's more, it's more about, you know, our desire to, to sit down and unconditionally, you know, go as hard as we can to help each other get a stop and a rebound. Um, that's, that's really where this thing is at.